morning. How we doing? Nice to see you eventually this week. Uh, yeah, leaving it late in the week as always to do some stewing, but uh, I'm going to try and make up for it over the weekend and try and do a good bit of streaming. Uh, do a, a decent, decent length of stream today. Be back on tomorrow and hopefully the return of some open lobbies on Sunday. But thank you for joining me this morning, folks. Nice to see so many people in the chat already. We've got Torek, we've got Cartman who's listening in, Hugo is here, Nate is here, Neil, Dan and Ken. Nice to see you folks, appreciate your company, hope you're all well, hope you're enjoying the racing. Uh, straight into a race here, we've got a minute to go. Uh, I've only set a lap time on the hard tyre so far, but we'll, we'll do this first race from the back and then we'll do some qualifying in between the races, I think there's a decent little, little break. There's a decent little break between the uh, the races so we can jump in and do some qualifying. Although, looking at the times that people are setting, I'm not entirely sure how high up the, the grid we'll be able to get ourselves. Uh, we've got Peter in the stream as well. Lawrence, 3 to 1. It's been a while, Lawrence. I hope you're well. I've not seen you, not seen you on the track for a long time. Hope you're well, Lawrence. Good to see you again. Uh, I've only set a, a hard uh, hard tyre lap time so far, Tony, but I will set one after after this race. Uh, amateur, welcome to the stream as well. Monsoon Weber, good to see you. PlayStation Racer, I appreciate you jumping in to offer some support over your coffee break. Dex here as well, seen Dex in a couple of races yesterday, getting some good results. But yeah, thank you for the, the warm welcome to the stream, folks. Thank you for the warm welcome from everyone. Hey, Neil finally got his, uh, his rig. Nice to hear, mate. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're enjoying it. The ironing board, I hope you gave it a... Hope you gave it an honourable uh, honourable discharge, Neil. Or they just give it back to the... No, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. But yeah, good to hope you're enjoying it anyway. Neil, good to hear. Right. I know keys on, so there's some fast drivers up the front. Calster. The down. The down button in my button. Things not working very well. Lopez behind is usually pretty quickly. Ah, you've been on ACC for the past seven, eight months. Hope you're enjoying that then. Would you play on PC or do you play on console, Lawrence? Demo, how you doing mate? Good to see you, Demo. Hope you're well. Yeah, I think I heard that this morning. That's Maxim up in P1 with a relatively new account. Well, let's see what we can do. Viking buddy over the iron board, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not true, Lawrence. The console version on PS5 is actually pretty good. Yeah, I've, uh, I mean, I've got the PC version and the console version. There's not that much of a difference between them. So, I think that's... Uh, <laughs> a lot of people say that about the console version, but the P on, on PS5 and Xbox uh, Series X it's actually pretty good. Very, very comparable. Although, if you're just talking about... Whoa! If you're maybe just talking about... Uh, Multiplayer ability, then you you might be right. I have 
went wide enough there for the PBA. Oh, God, oh, I was already going wide and you still managed to drive into me. It's down over back to 20 players, Lawrence. Oh god, we're having a good time here, are we? Ah well. That's not going particularly to plan. I can't even drive the car! It's that broken! <laughs> right. I probably need to be able to go and do some qualifying, wouldn't I? Glasgow, how you doing? Just, just come back in about half an hour, folks. Honestly, there's no, there's no reason to be here. <laughs> just come back in half an hour. I used to come out a bit yesterday, Tony, and I had no issues with it, to be fair. Maybe stop getting hit by PBA. We managed, I don't know how many times they managed to hit me over the course of the first lap. But it was quite impressive how often they wanted to be on the same piece of track that I was on. management. Might as well just practice some tyre management. Welcome to the stream everyone. I'm, I apologise if I missed anyone. Chance moving pretty quickly.
Oh, did you? You've been and got a paint for your first five races. <laughs> no, I jumped in it yesterday for a few races and didn't really have too many issues with it. To be fair, turn one was always the most difficult corner in it. They're Italian on soft tyres. Apologies folks that I binned it so badly in the first race, there's nothing worse than uh, watching somebody drive round by themselves and there's nothing worse for me than having to drive round by myself as well. Why does the bad stuff always wait until I'm streaming to happen to me? back in 20 minutes, there might be something worth watching at that point. Yeah, I think there's quite a few cars that are quite decent around here, isn't there? Too bad, the emote wasn't too bad. It was more of a. I did that in VR as well. Uh... But yeah, I kind of just nailed it, demo. So I think prior to that, I was doing like, I think I was on an 18 4, and I did that lap just kind of, kind of surprised me a little bit as well. Because it didn't feel especially good either. But uh, yeah, we'll take it, we'll take it. A weird car that uh, Valkyrie.
is it tired test? Is it 29? Ah, we'll get these to the end. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. Hardly pushing. ABS is much better for managing your tyres because uh, if you just sort of, you can kind of sort of manage what tyre you're using with the weak ABS, I think. I think that's a thing. We are going pretty slow here anyway, we're not, we can do 44 zeros if we're pushing, so. Not last, not last, so I knew somebody would quit, that's why I didn't quit myself. I knew somebody would eventually quit. We'll be last on paper, but not officially last. Yeah, I've not tried the 1.9 yet on uh, PS5 players, but some of the sort of. Who was that I was getting up watching yesterday? Random call sign. Watched his video on it, he was impressed with it, he was very impressed with it. He actually said the force feedback was better than the PC version. <laughs> there was more detail in it. Hatton Key down P13 as well, he's had a, he's had a bad race. I'd like to get these tyres to the end, but...
Sun was pork. Alex, how you doing, mate? Good to see you. Tire left still exists. Oh. <laughs> we held on, we held on. <laughs> that was good racing. Good racing in the end. Right, hope you're well, Alex. Thank you for lurking. Appreciate it. Uh, Exactly, Hugo, exactly. Did a good job, actually. I didn't realise the temperatures were so high, but we did not a bad job to do the seven laps with the Supra. So we did. Do you need to know how this race ends, uh, PlayStation? <laughs> uh, good race with Dalt Bray. He never really pushed it, did he? I mean, I think he could have had me any time he wanted, but uh, he kind of... He was gentle with me. He was gentle with me. Alright, yeah. Oh, no worries. No, no worries. He must have hit me when I kind of lost it, but that was all my own doing. He's away. He's away. No worries, racer. Have a good day. No, no worries, PBA. I was having a bit of a moan about you, by the way. I, I'm not going to lie. If you watch it back, I was having a little bit of a moan about you. But, uh, yeah, no worries. It was a bit, of a bit of a crazy first lap anyway, so... I appreciate you coming in. I appreciate you coming in, PBA. Thank you. I think I've actually got my controller decently charged for the first time in a long time, so we can actually just use this. Fusion, how you doing, mate? Yeah, Doc Brown is good today, Smith, yeah. I'm sure, I mean, is he struggling? I think he may be struggling a wee bit with the physics or something, because I always remember him being a little bit quicker. I always, I always remember, I'm sure, like, Doc Brown was a good sort of solid... 
like kind of split two, split three driver, but uh, he was in our uh, manufacturer's race, uh, Tonic. I wonder if he's just struggling with the game at the moment a wee bit. With, well, something's changed in it and he's not, uh, not uh, doing so well. I mean, I'm not sure whether we were actually saving it anyway. I really don't. I don't think we were saving it. We were like, just we were a pendulum at that point. Yeah, just to just to compound matters, the car was that broken. I managed to spin up here as well. Yeah, I've had some good racing as well, Tonic. I was racing last night, and uh, no, the racing was good. Even the even the aliens coming through from the back were racing quite well for a change. <laughs> uh, right. Hey, doing there, Ali? Nice to see you, mate. Hope you're well. Oh, you pushed the second split, the diffusion. Right, what were the qualifying times there? What were the qualifying times? Is there actually any point in me doing a qualifying time here? That's what I need to know. Because if, if I need to get like a low 43 to... Hurry up. I mean, I need to get into a 40, I need to get into the 42s to actually make doing a qualifying time worth it. Iron Man, how you doing? Nice to see you. Well, we do one. Well, let, let's just do a, a soft lap just to see if we get an idea where we are. I mean, we should get straight, straight into the 43s. Right, let's do Even a 43. Even a 43 4, 43 5 still going to start right down at the back.
Do I have time to finish that? I think I've got time to finish this lap. It'll be right on the, on the edge, won't it? These are the laps where you absolutely nail it. How you doing, Nay? Welcome back, mate. Good to see you again. Right, let's just launch it through here. Oh, that's got to be a pain, eh? It's a good save, though. Right, we'll take that in and see where that, uh, see where that takes us. You hate the last four corners. I actually quite like the last four corners, Nay, I'm not going to lie. I, I really like the track, to be fair. I think it's a cracking track, Watkins going. The one corner, I don't like the first corner. That's the corner I don't like. Yeah, the go bowling sign. I think people just like the track uh, fusion, and I think the fact that you can use some different cars probably probably helps as well. Probably brings a few more people into the fold. I think people do get fed up of uh, one make races, so this is certainly one of the more one of the reasons you get a little bit more variety in car choice. David, welcome to the stream. Good to see you as always. Red Devil as well. Welcome along. You're losing at least six tenths over them. Uh, yeah, I don't mean... I know that the two corners, the kind of... Not the last two corners, but the two corners before that are definitely... There's a lot of time to be gained on those corners just by how early you can get on the throttle and how brave you are, without a doubt. We're up to P13. Tonic's in as well. Pretty competitive up at the front. Key in the, the Supra this time. Funniest cowboy behind us. That's a bold claim. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the manufacturer days tomorrow as well, Ali. I think, uh, I know like Interlagos gets a lot of slating for... Uh, being overused, particularly in GT Sport, but I think Interlagos and Group 3 is just one of the best combinations in the game. Oh, Darren, how you doing, mate? Good to see you. Apologies for missing you coming in. at the same time as me. Is that a Ferrari? Is that a Ferrari he's in? Or McLaren? Choice. McLaren's okay, but the Ferrari... Let me see. That is a McLaren, yes. I think this guy in front's a little bit dodgy though, isn't he? I mean, I was looking away from my screen, which was so that was my fault as much as anything. Sorry, Doc. I was I was looking at chat. What a, I will need to look at that back at that one. What a bizarre. Uh, Wonder Lawrence went to ACCA. I'm sure it's not much better over there, to be fair. Some of the eye racing stuff I've seen just recently has been like. Uh, arguably worse than GT.
Right, we're still in it though, we're still in it. It's, uh, it's been getting involved. Mazda though, Hugo, wouldn't the uh, division be good round there? I imagine it'd be good. Super's doing weird stuff coming off the, the chicane. It wasn't doing that yesterday. Yeah, everybody's on it here though. I did notice that yesterday, I was like, even like Constant and M. Williams and Damien were really struggling to make too much progress through the pack. Because everybody's just so close in terms of pace. In the wrong way, mate. We have a friend soon, Tonic. That car had pretty uh, highway was not great when it came to we used that to the Norbrook ground, didn't we? This tire was not very good there. Maybe he's a bit of a ballet dancer though, you never know. Did Paul nice to see it? Marquis as well, spy your name up there. You're good. Pretty 
breaking too late into that corner. See what these two do ahead in terms of pitting. No death like that. Could be good for me. Should be able to jump there too, hopefully. Hey, doing their line bus, welcome to the stream. Bus stop's never a great place to attempt an overtake. It can work though, it can work, but you need a lot of uh, cooperation between the drivers. Or did I lose an awful lot of time to that BMW there on the pits? Oh, don't do that car. Okay. No tyre saving on this route lap because we need to try and jump those two. Corns were pretty good though. Yeah, we do have a 2070. It's been enough though, it's been enough. Undercut's so massive though, isn't it? Because your soft tyres can pretty hard tyres. Crazy. Just quit. I'm going to assume he's uh, got the wrong tyres on when he pitted. He's on the wrong straight. He started on the soft tyres, so he probably just knows he's screwed. Enough to get past Lopez when he serves that. He's not going to have very good tyres at the end, that's for sure. Up to the last corner. Struggling for pace though. Very much struggling for pace. <laughs> Look, he's in a group four car, isn't it, compared to this?
a lot, but it's still not where we want to be. It's all that's an offer though. Hey MC, how you doing? You're good. Yeah, it is on offer. We need, maybe we need somebody to spin, David. We're under more threat from behind than we are uh, catching anyone. Catching Maverick though. He's really good through that corner. His super is definitely faster than mine. I don't care what MD says. His super is clearly faster than mine. The Iron Brew Supra is broken in my uh, garage. Off. He's going to have dirty tyres, going to be interesting at the end.
Bombo recovers from an awful race with a P Bombo. Yeah, stopping in the, the iron brown the fuel tank, yeah. <laughs> but somebody told me that would make my car faster, Arkies. Yeah, good to hear enjoying it. Good to hear enjoying it. Do we know what car it is? Do, do we know what car it is for race here? Has anybody revealed it or managed to find out? Yeah, sugar in the fuel tank equals bad. I think it'll be group four around the uh, Yamagiba reverse. Poor Maverick lost two positions in the last corner. It's such a horrible last corner when you've got dead tyres, isn't it? It's uh, such a horrible last corner. <coughs> uh, <laughs> let's say. Uh, I don't think it's the fastest, I think the GTR is still the fastest car in the race, but the looks like the M6 is also pretty fast, uh, David. Looks like the M6 is fast. Because I've certainly seen a lot more people using the M6 now compared to the beginning of the week. Right, let's, go and, let's go and see what happened at the beginning. We say, oh, Tonic, Tonic, Tonic's kind of making a small admission there in the chat, I think. Yeah, last car, but you, if you've got somebody three times behind you into the last car and your tyres are dead, as long as they give themselves a good enough run, like, like we did there, I kind of realised it had to kind of not be too close to Maverick behind going into that corner, you'll probably lose the position. I quite like Yamagiba myself, to be fair. I quite like it. <laughs> Full disclosure. To be fair, Tony, I made things worse. I was looking at the chat as well as the race started, so I was the, and I was talking about this Italian guy. So I don't think I helped matters. I drove straight into the back of Doc Brown. <laughs> view do you think he plays on? It's, uh, if he's playing on this view, when did, when did he actually see you? I mean, I, mean I, I don't know. He could be doing the same as me. Maybe it was to pay attention, but... I mean, I had plenty of time to avoid Dot Brown here, but at this point I was like, ah. And then went, oh shit. Tony, Tony just left beached. Look at these, look at these guys in the pit lane, not even caring that there's a car stranded here. Not even caring. Yeah, I, I did wonder how you ended up, eh. Uh, I did wonder how you end up 30 seconds behind, to be fair. <laughs> right, let's go again. You can get seven laps out of most cars if you kind of drive the first couple of laps the right way. But if you push, then six is more. Uh, I mean, I think I had more... My tyre life was pretty much the same between the first two races there, even though I did seven laps on the, the, the first race. I 
Alright, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. First race she did in VR was in this track headset, lost its lock at the start. Well, P1. Black screen eventually cleared halfway through the bus stop, didn't end well. <laughs> I can imagine, Demo, I can imagine. To be fair, whenever I'm in VR and it loses the tracking, which thankfully it, it went through a wee phase where it was doing it like more often than was ideal, the AI do quite a good job at over, uh, taking over the car, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, I've not really had any issues with the VR losing its tracking for the last uh, last wee while now, so hopefully it's it's sorted. Yeah, I kind of I kind of mix between second and third gear in those two. If I'm pushing, I tend to use second. If I'm trying to save the tires, I'll use third gear for those corners. But I don't think it really affects the the lap time too much. Maybe maybe just start using it in third just to have a wee bit more confidence on the throttle. Right, folks, I'm going to go and refill my uh, juice up. So I am. I'll be back in. Well, I'll, I'll do a pee while I'm at it. Eh? So I'll be back in a couple of minutes, folks. Welcome to the stream, Sean. Nice to see you. Steamed hams, Hugo. Steamed hams sounds... doesn't sound nice, does it? Steamed hams, that's what he calls hamburgers. <laughs> Is that the full fat stuff, Woody boy? Is that the full fat stuff? Does that put us anyway? Oh, we can definitely go faster than that then, can't we? Where's the... Uh, what's the top 500 require? 43-1, that should be possible, should we? We get ourselves into it. I mean, I've got, to, I've got to think we can do a 42, can't we? No, 
Right, Tonic's back in. Let's hopefully he's got his wheel sorted. Top three's the sale. Lightning's in an FD1. <laughs> Python King 2001. Oh shit, tyres. Twenty three degrees in this one as well. Good one for the tires. You, never, you talk about uh, Iron Brew Arkies. Definitely, if you ever see it, give it a go, honestly. It is, it is, without doubt, the finest soft drink in the world. Yeah, I think, I think a high 42 is possible, Arkies. I think that's possible. It's all about conditions though, honestly. Sometimes, it, you see, there's definitely three, four tabs to be found if you just get yourself in the right lobby. And qualifying. 100%. many things you can get timed out in the chat and mass streams for, but slagging off Iron Brew might just have to become one of them. You just scared you right off the track there, Nemo. Oh, the car and the jump here. Oh, the tonic was off. And Jack, maybe. He'd made an arse of that and destroyed his own race rather than back out the track. That's a sportsmanship. The highest degree. Oh, 
bit of light then. Keep the store in a week in the jail here. Oh my car! I just don't want to do very much. These drivers just drove right through my car like I didn't exist. Badly for about 10 corners and all right enough, but Driver. I know he got, I think he got a bit of a dodgy reputation, isn't he? going to be a sticky end at some point in this one. A special order online, have you heard keys? Well, he's going to see a barrier at some point, Arkies. between me and Tonic we can take care of him. If I end up last in this race, well actually, the Finnish driver drove through me like it didn't exist. The Italian driver put me off the track twice.
Yeah, I think, uh, as I said, Damon, I was pretty sure he's got a rep. Italian drivers I have issues with. Exactly, Neil do. I mean, do they think they're just going to behave like that with other drivers and the other drivers not going to do anything back to them at some point? It's, uh, it's a very arrogant attitude, isn't it? Him anyway, to do anything. <laughs> Just dead, he's no matter where. You know, he was, he's also not sure, not at all. I think I might be the slowest driver on the track at the moment. Can I not get put down a split? Defending fresh air. I'm the only one on the track for sure. <laughs> the stream rapid
they just don't have any. They just don't have the pace, do they? They just don't have the pace at all. That was good, that was a reasonable lap getting the tyres on four laps open, but... At least you can be threatening those 43s, I'm just, uh, I'm just off it. Right, we're going to go. I was doing these lap times in the bloody Jaguar the other day. And the FT1. There's a time for a late conversation, that's what the chat wants to know. There's a time for a late conversation. Myself to his stand, of course, I bloody do. Of course, I do. <laughs> He's all over the shop, eh? <laughs> We'll get him in the next one. We'll make him think. We'll make him think we're not going to do anything, you know, that we're just going to be passive, and then we'll come for him in the next one. I never really got a good opportunity to do it there, so without killing myself, probably in the process. So there's no point taking somebody out and then taking yourself out of the process. Nobody wins out of that one. Uh, wow, right, anyway. I want to go and look at Funniest Cowboy see what he did to me. I mean, it might... He might be innocent. It was maybe just a race. It probably was a racing incident, to be fair. But, eh... Uh, certainly cost us. Oh, tell me about it, Tony. I had, well, I'm not really sure. I did a massive amount wrong, but uh, yeah, I get kind of pushed and prodded all over the place in that one. Iron Brew is a soft drink in Scotland, Monsoon. From bars. From girders, actually. So, and it's, uh, it's this delightful orange colour. 
Which is why us Scots have got a bad reputation for having bad teeth. Well, actually, it's a probably a, a rightful reputation, to be fair. Oh, yeah, we've seen that tonic, yeah. I think Jack got taken out on that one as well. So I thought, I'll go wide here. I think I, at this point I thought, you know what, I've held up lightning enough because I've driven so badly for the last half a lap. So we'll, we'll, we'll break deep here, square it off and come back and try and get a wee... Uh, Get back in behind them. And he's not made, he's not came anywhere near the apex and then just driven into me. I mean, it's not like a, it's like a major contact, but. And he's, he's got to tighten the line. He's got to tighten the line there and not hit my car. It was a bit of a strange how I spun so easily though, wasn't it? It was like... It was such an inconsequential contact, the car spun very, very easily. Yeah, it did right on the rear quarter panel though. Right on the rear quarter panel. Sorry about this tonic by the way, I knew you were behind me but I didn't think you were catching me as quickly as you were. Or I think off the line just to let you straight through. Trust a driver with a camel livery. <laughs> Ooh. Probably. Well, that was an unusual one. Right, so the Greek bumps you off there, Tony, does it? The reason it is just a little bit of lack of awareness because I just so cars been all over the place. Yeah, it's just Jack making a bit of a an aggressive manoeuvre to try and overtake you, Tonic, and not realising the Greek's still on his outside. And then loses control of the car and takes you out. Chaos, chaos ensued afterwards. Oh, you intended to bump me, no worries, Tony, no worries. It was nothing malicious in any of that there, it's just cars in close proximity and people not realising where other cars are. Let's go and rebuild this bloody Supra. In fact, have I got another Supra? I think I've got another one. I think I bought... Remember I bought another one because I was like convinced this one's broken. Glad you know. We'll go and rebuild it. The best point to drift in the Supra, I'm going to assume you mean shift in the Supra, Sean. 
My understanding now is that you don't short shift it the way you used to. My understanding is you pretty much rev it to the, you know, maybe 90, 90, aye, say 90 percent. And the only gear you short shift is from 5th into 6th, where you maybe shift about 60 to 65 percent. That's my understanding now of the car. Maybe somebody else will say differently in the chat. But yeah, my understanding is you kind of rev, rev the gears out, most them all out to 90% except the 5th and the 6th change where you do it about 65, 70. It just, just to make things nice and simple. Did they fix the time trial shortcut? So you can test a menu before committing. I don't even know you could do that. I'd also, I mean, Hugo and Woody Boy have kept me writing so many occasions about gear shifting. I would definitely listen to what they say as well, Sean. I would definitely listen to they too because I don't know how many times I've been shifting a car incorrectly and they come in and tell me how to do it, so. <laughs> 68.579 just to be safe. I like that precision, Rapid. I like the precision. Same happened to you yesterday, only get punted at turn one. If accidental, wait and give the place back. Yeah, I'm a kind of. I've got a sort of. Uh, the, the waiting thing, I, I'm a little bit controversial on that. I think it was an accident then accidents happen sometimes. Uh, swings and it's like a swings and roundabouts kind of situation, you know. People people don't really wait for you, then if you accidentally take somebody out and it's only happening once every fifty races or something, then you really need to wait. Well, that's the first time I've had any run-ins with him, Tonic. Uh, I just I just knew the name. I just knew the name had uh, a bit of a bad reputation attached to it. He wasn't like... He wasn't like super dirty with me, you know, just... Do you know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of Tony Bilden. Whereas he doesn't just he doesn't just punt you off the track, he just dives you and, and nurses you towards the edge of the track. And I do wonder if it's one and the same person. Although that guy seemed to have more pace than Tony, to be fair. That guy did have more pace. Oh, I think we've been bumped down a split. I think we've been bumped down for being shite. Torix in this one as well. The guy in P1 is bloody rapid though. That's weird. I de definitely think we've been bumped down a split here because I'm going to assume that... Oh, sugar. It's still some fast drivers. Chinese Chan's fast. Top three are... Well, Torix fast, we know that. Top two are very fast. Mm, he's well A plus. Yeah, he has the guy. You see, you know, eh. Uh, see, you know, the guy that's at the Olympics demo? Is that the Hungarian driver that was at the Olympics? Hensai or something like that. Twenty-four degrees. I 
Right, we've not had a, a great, not had a great time of it so far, have we? Let's see what this one brings. Spanish driving in P6 is quite fast as well. Zip. You can shift. So he did. So he did. The reason I'm staying in the Supra is because I'm doing such crappy lap times and I know I can go faster. Place to make up for a few humble. I'd just quite like to get to my pit stop day when we put an instant. <laughs> Try to make a strategy work of some sort. Definitely a lap free pit if my first car is on. Car not stop. I think we rejoined as safely as we could there. We kept it to the inside. Oh, I've still got dirty tyres. Not going well, has it? <laughs> no idea why the car just would not stop there. I don't think I broke too late. Markers because of his pen, that was weird. I could not see the brake markers because of his pen. I 
Hey, let's see if we can slow the car down now. Should be able to get past this GTR now. I was going to pit there, but I thought probably no point. But was there really any point? Oh, for fuck's sake! It's starting to get fucking annoyed now, folks. Apologies for the French, but. Fuck me, man. What a terrible session we're having. Now, very annoyed. Did it even go off the track? And I got dirty tyres for it. Oh, did I? I did go off the track, didn't I? I spent half a lap trying to get the car to actually drive normally again. Orange mist descends. Oh, it's just past you go, just driving like an idiot. I'm not, I mean, I don't think that guy should have left his car in where he did. Personally. I think we're like from the nearly a full car length ahead to leave his car into the chicane. And don't get me wrong, we got through side by side, but only, I mean, I just don't think it was. Had an incident. <laughs> I 
Yeah, <laughs> too much ammo for the pipes. and go by the way past this uh, drive was just pitted. on hard tyres, appreciate it. It is in hard tyres. As I talked about that earlier on, Arkies. I think it's a bit of an outlier though. But sure, I think I kinda just nailed a lot. Oh, it's a bit of a late move, buddy. They're my bad books.
I had to go and hit the wall as well, didn't I? I fooled him, I was even going to go for that move there. I fooled him and then he, he drove into the back of the, the Danish driver. Good to tire us for the last lap. Let's see if we can do our fastest lap on the last lap. Now I'm going to stream tomorrow, David. I'll, I'll use some different cars tomorrow. I don't mean the fastest lap of the race, I just mean a perfect base lap for me. The tyres, we've still got enough in the tyre I think. About one o'clock, Neil, I think. Something around about one o'clock. I'll do uh, do some daily racing and then I'll do some GTWS manufacturers. What time are you sitting at, Arkeys? Oh, I can take a wee look so I can. Yeah, my uh, my lap in the Valkyrie, uh, when I did that 17.8, I think prior to that I was sitting on about an 18.4. Uh, and even the lap, when I did the 17, it didn't even feel very good, but we've all been there, you know what it's like, sometimes you, you do a lap and you're like, it doesn't feel like a good lap and then for whatever reason it turns out to be quick. Oh, that was a disaster. Tonic had a bit of a, bit of a disaster as well. We've been donating some, eh, uh, Donating some good DR there, eh? <laughs> Donating some good DR. McFearless is saying, well done to me. I'm not sure if there's a... Uh, <laughs> 
some facetiousness in that. I don't know if I've done something to him, or he's just saying well done. A genuine well done, I'm not sure. I don't think we had uh, any run-in with him. I don't think we kind of... I don't know if maybe we came back on the track if we caused problems. I don't know. Oh, definitely, Demo. Definitely. See, in these... Uh See, for like daily races, see the time trials in daily races, you don't have to worry about restarting, your tyres start at temperature. But on but on these, they don't start at temperature, so you have to do a few laps to get them up. I don't know why it's different between them, but... Uh, just if you're doing the, if you're doing these time trials for the 2 million credits, don't, don't keep restarting because your tyres just go back to being cold. Well, I know Tonic, tell me about it. I'm not sure I've had quite such a bad run of four races together in a long time. I mean, people need to start doing better. I am never in the top ten of my friends' leaderboard for these time trials, and I'm P7. So people are just, these are slacking, folks. These are slacking. A 18 free R keys? I cannot. Nah, definitely safe R keys. Definitely safe. That won't go much quicker. At best, that's going to go to a 16.5, which will mean that a, like a, a 19.8 will be safe. Sorry, an 18.8. So if you've got an 18.8, I reckon you're safe. So, yeah. That'd be my prediction anyway. Oh, no worries, Mick Fearless. No worries, mate. Nice to see you in the stream. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> it was an interesting race. David Fraser, how you doing? Welcome to the stream as well. You're still playing Wreckfest, are you? Yeah, DR swaps. Poopers, by the way, I, I missed you saying hello to you. Welcome to the stream as well, Poopers. Good name. Yeah, you still doing, uh, you still just doing all your driving in VR, DB? I did that, I did the Valkyrie lap in VR. Uh, there's not a lot of space in there, it's, it feels very claustrophobic in the, in VR, in the Valkyrie. Right, we go again. I don't think that result's going to do very much for getting us out of uh, that split. First time being above James in the leaderboard. Yeah, I think there's just a bit of racing going on with Fearless and we're all trying not to trip over each other. And uh, it can get a bit awkward in those situations, I guess. Right, time for a couple of laps. Let's see if we can improve on this. Might get lucky with the conditions. Oh, still A+, plus, but maybe about 54, 55k, Tony. Come 
Tops gear. I don't think I'm brave enough in turn one. I think that's when I lose a lot of time. Watch it. sector pretty well though. That was the first corner we wanted though, we're going to be nearly two tenths up. So we can definitely do a 43 1. Yeah, you don't need to break the penultimate corner on softs. Oof. We've been put in amongst the big boys again. Or have we? Tidgen is in, he's doing his beat the meta in his 4 GT. Sash is in. I don't know if this is top split or not. Let's see. Let me see. Yeah, good luck, Arkees. Have a good show. <laughs> yeah, big fat zero, David. Big fat zero. They don't do uh, they don't do sponsorship, believe it or not. I don't think they do anyway. Yeah, it has to be uh, able to be faster than that Hungarian driver. Yeah, have a good show, uh, Arkees. It goes well. For one little like away from 50. Anybody fancies hitting the, the like button to get us there? Mark Booth, how are you doing? Good to see you. So, race five, can we? Then we finally start driving like an A plus driver. Start him to be fair. Still don't turn one like an absolute twat, but I 
Lucky, lucky if you make a, a, a mistake in turn one, the super gets you out of jail. Got to be on softs. Touch the dead door. Temperatures were or anything. Another one here. Scampi, how you doing? Down here, super up in the ball, ghost baby. It's the ball man. to jump there too. 
I think it's better to jump them than stay where I am. 22 degrees as well as Damo says, so if you're going to do it, this is the temperatures to do it in. Enjoy your lunch, Hugo. Because <laughs> the engine seems to annoy other drivers. I've not tried that, have I? That's the coolest temperatures I've heard, 22, I feel like I've seen lower than that. Very easy here. Tonic, I'll bump you because I'm not fighting you, I don't think. Tonic's a whisperer on the tyres, anyway. Yeah, 19's the lowest you've seen them. Wow. Yeah, just that much. I think they two fight, but I'm not getting involved. Sasha does kill the tyres though, only that much. That's why he's got to go to lap 5. I think he's a controller player. Three and a half seconds behind us from P5.
one still with pit as well. I think we're an MP4 here. Three pits now. I think we'll come out just in front of the Belgian driver. Yeah, maybe, maybe if something had a way anything happened between them, but. Take about a bit of charity now and then. Especially after the first four races. <laughs> See, that, this will be an interesting battle because Sasha will be. Sasha is faster than Tonic, but. Tonic will have the tyres at the end of this over him. Even though he pitted. A lap play earlier. I should just save tyres all I go faster when I save tyres. Actually, that's terrible. I'll look after the tyres as well. That Ford, if it's still the same, that Ford GT is good on tyres as well. We're doing well to catch me for four seconds though. Flash has passed. Maybe up to B5. Oh, yeah. He's going to be rapid. His last couple of laps.
And some people have got like amazing tie wear. There was a Spanish player at Suzuka in the NSX, and I have no idea how he was looking after his front tires the way he did. They're like, honestly, his tire wear at the end of the race compared to just about any other driver I've seen was insane. And like, I, was, I think I said on stream, I was watching back and I have no idea. Like just watching his technique, I have no idea what he was doing to save the tires. It didn't look like he was doing anything. Good. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it wasn't particularly smooth or... Honestly, it does make me wonder. It does make me wonder at times when I see that is whether uh, everybody's got the same kind of... whether things are actually equal at times. If we can hold on, he took a second out of his no problem there. He's going to take more out on this lap. He was a fast player, the Spanish driver was fast, you know, he wasn't, it wasn't like he was saving the tyres because he was going so slow, he was doing 49s. Oh, he was not going to be a million miles away from me, is he? After our trials and tribulations so far, we'll take a P4. Tim, how you doing? Nice to see you. 53 likes as well. Thank you for getting us over at the 50 likes mark. Touch now with the P Bombo. If he can't, if he can't beat the meta, then surely he's got to be happy with a P Bombo. Tonic with the podium as well, GG Tonic. Nice job, mate. We were never going to do anything about the Hungarian driver, and we got a bit lucky because Ghost Baby binned it. So we'll take it. <coughs> yeah, 22 degrees. Happy with that one. Happy with that one. Ooh, if the Hungarian driver took out the Italian, we'll be going there. Uh, well, we're going to do some analysis on it. Let's go and check uh, Sasha's tyres compared to Tonics as well. Yeah, definitely Tonic. That's more like it, yeah. That is more like it. David, appreciate you coming in. Have a nice day, whatever you're up to. Yeah, if I can make the tyres last seven laps, uh, Tony, you can definitely do it as well. You do have to drive differently. You definitely can't just push the first couple of laps, but... Let's, uh... Let's see what happened with it all. Maybe 
Nee, da kann ich nicht vor. We're nearly like the 300 board side by side, and not one of them's uh, thought about yielding yet, have they? I mean, I kind of, I don't know, these guys are better than me. But even though I don't have a car alongside me, I break before the 300 board. Hungarian is moving across a wee bit though, isn't he? The contact's there. We're now both beginning to think about breaking at the 200 board. So... <laughs> Do you know what? I, I would say they've both broke way too late. I, I, I think I'll just put it on both of them. The Italians came back on. At that, at that contact, you can never... I don't know where else is this supposed to go, I don't know. A couple of fantastic rejoins, but again, I think they're struggling to not... No worries, Tonic, no worries. Yeah, very messy, very messy. Just, it's that, uh, it's that fast driver mentality, isn't it? We are, shall not yield, shall not yield. Right. Dead tires. Oh, yeah, as I thought, Sasha's on completely dead tires. Yeah, we did a good job there, didn't we? We did a good job on the tires ourselves. Yeah, if you'd pitted one lap earlier, Tony, you would have had the gap to Sasha, I think, to possibly hold on. Because when does he run it? When does he actually run out of tires? You'd, you'd still, if you'd pitted lap 7, you'd have beat him, I think. Right, we'll go again. We'll see if we can, uh, see if we can build on that and try and get a podium. You've got to have a bit of ambition, haven't you? Change the tyres. Where are we in the world now? Oh, we're at the top 1000. Right, time for a pee. Time to get some more juice. I shall be back in a couple of minutes, folks, before the race starts. See you in a couple of minutes.
<clears throat> yeah, I think the Supra is terrible on turn one myself, Tonic. I don't think it's, uh, it's a good card at turn one. You know, I finally bought a fan, so I did, and, uh, last week. And I think from about the day after I bought that fan, it's not really stopped raining here in Scotland. So, I've not really got much use out of it. Not that I'm complaining. Not that I'm complaining, because uh, driving in that stifling heat is <coughs> just horrible. Absolutely horrible. Has there been any confirmation on what car category we're doing next week's Daily Race in? Has anybody heard anything on the grapevine? What the inside inside news or anything? Oh, Dead Idel Boy's streaming today, so he is at 10 to 3. 10 to 3, Dead Idel Boy. I'll give him some free advertising. Sod's law, exactly, yeah. So if you're looking to listen to some further Scottish twangs, go and check out Del Boy's stream at 10 to 3. I may even join him for a couple of races myself. Alright, we're just buying Tidgen in this one. He's got Johns in this one as well. We've we got Lord Poopsies, friend. Uh, I don't think he comes into the streams, but he does. He is on my uh, friends list. Tonic's back. And then, um, be a nice battle at the, the top between them. I don't think we had a particularly warm summer, Neil. I don't think it was... I mean, I don't get me wrong, it was... I do remember streaming in that heat and it being, uh, Stifling. So I win even lower. Thanks for letting me know, Torrent, because I never wasn't paying attention. Just, uh... It just adds to the immersion, doesn't it, Mark? It just adds to the immersion. I'm going to imagine it's a bit of a, a, bit of a hot and sweaty place inside a, a real racing car. So again, we've got the Hungarian in front started in soft tyres. for this, I'm not going to lie. I'll be able to survive that, I think. I'm going to play the drivers behind because I had to really slow down there. You know, not be happy with that. I wouldn't imagine. Scary but fair. <laughs> Scary but fair, he says.
Totally fair. I think you can just keep the, the waves high enough in that gear for the gears probably go better. Shave it jail. It did flash, we'll go to the stream. Nice to see you, mate. Good stream yesterday, enjoyed it. Seems quite racy behind me. I don't think he's on the soft tires though, he's just faster. That was just insane driving. the Italians. Uh, you, what are you doing, man? You're a, a, a Portuguese driver. is an idiot. I'm going to assume I'm ghosted. That Portuguese driver is an idiot, I'm sorry. the car so long to recover. That was just moronic. Let's keep going, eh? find out how, well, uh, how stupid I can be if I can catch back up to him.
Flash, I've heard the uh, I've heard that Super GT's got a new video out called uh, Race Over in a Flash. I don't know if you've seen it yet. R rumor has it you may have been racing with him yesterday. Right, let's start a top ten and off it. Oh, I had to take a wee uh, confidence lift there. Wasn't sure what the back end of the car was going to do it. Fastest lap we've done today, I think. Is that ten, nine, eight? Well, we can actually see people, but you can see them. And they're okay, they were all. Stopped. Oh, one's off. All oh, poopsies. I wonder if Lord Poopsies is poopers. Come into the stream earlier on.
lobby went a bit janky there. to fight another day. Super of the day going over that second part of the chicane is not happy. Yesterday it was planted. Sex actually looks like we're struggling the most. GTR is just so good at the end of the race though. Even on like tyres like this, it still does 44s. Just not that way. Yeah. 
Ich sehe ihn gerade nicht, ich komme. It's not a terrible recovery. Too bad, too bad. If we are company this afternoon, folks, this afternoon it is at 20 past one. Jeez, oh. I very much appreciate it. 46 people in. Not a bad wee race that, you know. Quite enjoyed the second stint there. We've done a good job, I think. Coach Baby at 1756, that's pretty fast. Pretty fast time. D-Ball and Ram Sausage, how are you doing? <laughs> Ram Sausage. Still does, no, still never feel right saying that, doesn't it? It does, but welcome to the stream, guys. Nice to see you. Hope you're well. Tonic with the P4 there. Another decent result for him. Hanging on by a slubber. I had a suspicion this Italian driver was on the soft tyres. Just uh, take a wee look at this. With Tijni. I don't know, Tijni does go wide, doesn't it? He does go wide and then there's a little bit of contact, then he loses the car. I don't know. Not as bad as it looked when I first seen it. Tidger will not be Tidger will not be enjoying this race very much though. <laughs> That's for sure. Funny feeling that's a tally behind us was on the soft tyres, and it was. We made a mess of that. This is on me to be honest with you, because I didn't realise he was quite as far along side me at that point. I was just going to take the normal line. So I don't I'm not sure the swipe was quite necessary. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, let's just take a look at this. Let's welcome to the stream as well. Dan, nice to see you. Right. Now, the earliest you're going to break for this corner is about the 400. I don't think you can. There's any dubiety that we are a full car length ahead of this guy, is there? Don't think anyone can dispute that. I 
But he seems to think this was a good idea to... Crazy, absolutely crazy. Sasha hit the wall in lap 8, did he? Tonic, it's a good effort if you manage that. So he did. He's the rear of his car, he was lucky, he was the back of the car, hit it. Having a wee vent lash, was it? What race was it in this race here? Misses it with the front of the car, and then the contacts with the kind of now the kind of obviously the whatever you call it, they have a they have a proper word. Although you don't see the actual, you don't see the debris, and uh, yeah, it definitely looked like the back of the car, so I think that's why he got away with it, tonic. Oh, you Lord Poops? I had no idea you were Lord Poopsie's Slash. I had no idea that was you, do you know that? You've had a couple of experiences with Humberto this week, eh? Yeah, he looks like an interesting uh, character to race with. Uh, well, nice to be in a, nice to, I, I had no idea, Lesh, that you were Lord Poopsie's. I had no idea. Yeah, I seen you going off. We seen you going off in the uh, quite early in the race. You went off, didn't you? It was quite early into the race. I'm pretty sure I seen you. Can't find it. All right, I better head into the next race anyway. It's twenty eight minutes past. Neil. Appreciate you coming in. Always good to see you in the chat. Uh, no, we're in, we're in, folks. Don't worry. We're in, we're in, we're in. Yeah, nice to see you, Tibby, by the way. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Always good to see you as well. And Snakey, welcome along. Yeah, I've got I've got thirty say I'm thirty seconds uh, behind you guys. Aye, or thirty seconds ahead. I don't know. Yeah, thirty seconds behind. No, definitely less. Definitely. <laughs> I 
that's that's right up there with uh, some of the most exp- frustrating things, isn't it? When you've got a penalty and somebody decides, you know, to go for an optimistic overtake. So close in qualifying, though, isn't it? 42 6. I've changed the tires, yes. Twenty four degrees. I think I'm going to do a video on the temperatures because just to see just how much of a difference it actually makes. But the only place you can do it is time trial. Uh, but like not any of the official time trials. The only place that other only other place in the game where it tells you the temperatures is time trial. Alright, good luck to everyone racing. <laughs> you thought I was <laughs> Yeah, if I'd streamed on a uh, Wednesday morning, which was my plan, you wouldn't have been able to tell the difference. Started on soft tires again. No, after this corner. Hundred percent, he's on soft tires. <laughs> Send your first massive back for the pair, bad for you next week. That's not so good. Oh, the is off. Fearless is on this one, never noticed. I feel the Greeks on softs as well. I 
do wish they would just overtake more sensible locations though, don't you? Ambitious. That is ambitious. Hundred percent sure. Yeah, possibly they won't. Two tapes out all the main corners when I'm actually doing them quite well. Hey, 96, how are you doing? I've had some, one of your compatriots kind of ruined our last race, you got to be fair. <laughs> Umberto Silva. I can't remember what his actual PSN name was. Something but scary but fair, that's what his name was. His nickname was Humberto Silva. He kind of went for... Very ambitious move into the chicane. Yeah, it's definitely more scary. Maybe it's... I think he, uh... Ah, doing some league racing in 96. Is it going well? How's the lobbies holding up for league racing these days? Right, so Emzine's got, look at the size of it, he's got a 4.7 second undercut. He's going to have no tyres at the end. I've not seen anybody do 8 laps on the tyres. If you're still uh, listening in, Tonic, that uh, Belgian driver pitted on lap 2. He's right behind you. Uh, I 
I don't know what the card is for Daily Ray C Flash. I suspect it's Group 4. But I've not heard anybody confirm what the cars are yet for any of them. I know the tracks. So, Race A, not interested. I know people like that. Special Stage Route X carry on, but not for me. Trail Mountain Reverse, and I suspect will be Group 3. I think that could be quite good. People who do a daily race B. Wombo. I definitely think there's more on offer here. That was a good chicane. That was a good chicane. Rotated beautifully on the first part. Five's actually on here. Oh, that's an interesting way. If you find that as well, Tonic, does see that uphill? The uphill right before the, the penalty zone, does it? The car do something kind of weird with you. Berg, welcome to the stream. I see somebody saying hello to you. Sasha's car. Incident. Well, that's right, the Greek driver's still in the pit as well. Honestly, when I was racing yesterday, I was doing low 44s, quite comfortably with fresh tyres in the Supra, but just not on the pace. Although I did have, I was racing with. Monster and M. Williams and Damien try to stay ahead of them, so I don't know if you know, I was just getting sort of pushed on to better lap times because I was trying to stay ahead of them. What they say? Sometimes the best way to get faster is to race with faster drivers. Two corners where I think there's a lot. I think this is where the aliens get a lot of lap time on foot because they're so confident on the throttle coming out of them. That'd be a too shabby lap list to be fair. Uh, 143. 43.3 I think I got it down to earlier on. I definitely think it's a 42 in me, sausage. I definitely think it's a 42. Yeah, if you're going to have chaos, that is probably the best way to do it. They're really struggling now, not surprisingly.
He's going to lose the place to Sasha and me, but see if it actually. See if that's all he loses it to. He's actually made it work. Oh, we look at his tyres after the, the race. See where they went. Oh, we ask him flash what his lap time was. <laughs> I'll just tell you what mine is. It's my stream, so I'm allowed to tell you. Bad job, those M's in. to catch him, I'll be this <laughs> He's holding on. Eight laps on those soft tyres and hold on. Not at the moment, anyway. Is it an awful turn one? He's dead now, but he's done enough. Fair play, you GG's, Emzine, GG's. What a strategy, by him, what a strategy. Guy in a tent, how you doing? Welcome to stream. What steering rotation have you set your Logitech Pro to? I just have it at 1080, but. Uh, Gran Turismo automatically changes it depending on the car. I know that for a fact because the Jaguar's 530, the Supra's 560, the GTR's 540. Uh, but I, I have it set to 1080 and then when I go into the car it changes automatically.
Yeah, I'm hoping that Group C, uh, Group C, Race C will be Group 4. Uh, I think that could be a good race round with Amagiwa, even if it is a no-stopper. I think... Uh, yeah, I think the pack will stay close enough together to make it good fun. Anthony, how you doing? I need to take a real look at Emzine. That's the first person I've seen doing eight laps and been successful with. I've seen Consta doing it yesterday in the Mazda as well, but he went from P2 down to P7 at the end of the race. Yeah. Tonic with the P3, Kai with P2, quite happy with our P5, we started P10, so we moved forward quite nicely. Ah, oh, did, did you spin yourself, did you, Lesh? <laughs> we weren't sure whether one of the, the soft runners coming through would maybe helped you, helped you out a little bit. No worries, Demo. Thank you very much for coming in. As always, have a nice day, whatever you're up to. We'll see you again at some point. I, ha I have to know. You know you know, I like a good bad tire saving, so I have to know how this guy did it. What? What? How's his front tire so good? How's that possible? Oh yeah, they, that's just the B. That's the M6 doing uh, M M6 stuff. I uh, I'm I'm shocked. I'm gonna have to try this car. I know his rear tires knack up, but no, let's look at TC on. Let's just watch a lap. Let's watch his steering rotation. See what he's doing. Lap two, Tony. He pitted on lap two. Don't get me wrong, we, I think he, I think he was going quite slow deliberately. To maybe look after them, but look at his look, yeah, he's really look. Yeah, he's. he's uh, he's very gentle. Turning. He's not going beyond 90 degrees, and even when, he, even when he gets to 90 degrees, he's only there for a very short period of time. That's why he's wearing the rears out though, because he's letting the rear rotate the car around. Doing all the right, I mean, he's, he's early upshift into higher gear. We're going to be on third, I guess. Down to second, up into third, yeah. Just see him at the last corner here. Yeah, I'm on 80 degrees rotation, a wee, wee bit oversteer though. You know what? I'm going to jump in the Mazda for the last race just to just to see. Impressive stuff.
Oh, well, we'll, no, we'll use it tomorrow. We'll do one more. We'll do one last race in the Supra, folks, and then we'll. Uh, but tomorrow we will. We'll do some car experimentation. Yeah, he's very. He's. You can you can see why he's saving the tires, watching watching him on the wheel. Yeah, we'll do one more race, and then I'm going to go and get something to eat, and then, and then, uh, and then I won't be going outside because it's pushing me rain. I don't know what I'll do with the rest of the day. I need to do some practice for manufacturers tomorrow, right enough. I'll maybe try and jump in somebody's lobby later on, do a practice race, or maybe just use a custom race, I don't know. <laughs> Toritos experiment against tomorrow. See you later, Tim. Thank you for coming into the stream. Appreciate it very much. I'm calling you Tim, actually. <laughs> it is T1. I've just noticed there by Hugo saying T1. The RXV is stellar on tyres, but usually the front ones wear out first. At least they did when you drove here. No, not normally, Flash. Not normally. Uh, usually I just practice for manufacturers on a custom race, so I do. Just to get an idea of the tyre wear. Because a GT engine, you know all the settings and stuff, so you can set it up quite accurately. But I'm sure uh, I'm sure Key will be He'll be doing a practice lobby tonight, won't he? So I'll maybe try and jump in that. Occasionally I try and jump into his lobbies if I'm quick enough. Yes, it's, uh, it's a lot easier to control the rotation of the, the wheel with the pad, Hugo, no two doubts about it. We are in the race here, aren't we? We are. I think uh, that'll be a good race, but I've got no idea what the strategy is going to be for tomorrow. I think there'll be so many different ways of doing it. I think there'll be so many different ways of doing that, that race with uh, just the hard tyres being mandatory and the softs and the mediums being available. I don't know why, but I kind of think a long stint on the mediums and then the rest of the race on the hard tyres might be the way to go. Anthony, Logitech G Pro is the wheel. Logitech G Pro. The vastly, <laughs> the very overpriced DD Pro from Logitech. Yeah, I think it starts at 3 o'clock, Tonic. I think it's 3, 5, and 7 in the UK. Yeah, but I think the soft tyres are only going to last about 12 or 13 laps, Tonic, which means you'll be doing 17 laps on the hard tyres, so I was thinking you could maybe do 20 laps in the mediums and then 10 laps on the on the hards, or if you were good on tyres, maybe like 22 laps on the mediums. Yeah, but I think that'll be the other way as well, Flash, that's, you know, two stints on the... Yeah, two stints on the softs and then just finishing the hards or some variation of that. I 
Yeah, it's usually a good idea, Anthony. Yeah, you can kind of tune into some of the Oceania streams and see what they're doing in that. I think the thing with strategy, though, is like it's always about just trying to find a clear track. It's about trying to find a clear track and uh, and then just use the pace of your car and the tyres. I actually did a two-stopper uh, at the last round and don't get me wrong, I didn't get a great result out of it, but I still went forward four positions. I wasn't paying attention to what it said there, uh, Tonic. Just for the good luck. Some are swearing by a one stopper between hard and soft. That's what I mean, I think it's you know that's what strategy should be like. You know, there should be options and there should be kind of a little bit of uh, different opinions about what's the best way to do it. See in that Olympic race, I actually thought just see if uh, how Giuseppe went for the medium hard strategy. I think he was leading the race with four laps to go or something. I actually, I mean, he, he had a chance to make that work. The problem he had is that he had so many cars coming up behind him and overtaking him, he lost so much time. And then Carassa punted them off as well, which didn't help him, but... Sorry, guys behind. Sorry. Going so slow through there. I don't really have a lot of choice in it. Thank you later on today. Thanks for coming out the stream. Appreciate the good luck. That's a BR there on the straight eh? That's a good top end to be fair. have to, you know, you just know, don't you? <laughs> you just have like a sixth sense that they're not going to give it up. I don't know why. <laughs> You're really disappointed. I'm going to fall out. We have met quite a few numpties today, haven't we, to be fair? We've met quite a few numpties. I should get a chart on that wall. 
my numpty wall. I think we'll start doing that. We could even kind of break it down into like subcategories, you know. Dirty, dodgy, nose poker. I'll give you, he did, he did do quite well to make the chicane, but... Oh no! This will be a pain, I And I went over the white line game. Didn't go over the white. I did not go over the white line game. Joby. Right, we'll jump Oscar, but I don't I think that's it. I don't think there's too, too much more we can do. Don't think there's too much more we can do once we uh, jump Oscar here in the pits. I didn't notice that was you that said that now. You're welcome to the stream now. Nice to see you. Thank you. 
still out. Right, I've got, let's see if we can do a 43. I've not done a 43 this week at base. All the life out of the tyre from this lap. What have been doing? How am I setting the fastest lap? What have been up to? Really need to get braver. Top one. God, it's keeping uh, an Italian honest.
Charlie, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Shiro has we're in the Supra Iron Brew Panther Wagon. Question, how you doing? Is your tires looking well correct? I wish to be honest with you, so... I should get a payment for that. You don't. Okay, we're going to run out of tyres here. Good, we've done no saving whatsoever, which we're pushing. Still got a sliver there. There's still a slip. You probably can't see it, but I can see it. Oh, you Emzine. GG's by the way, GG's. Your tire saving, your front tire saving was exceptional. Exceptional. Very impressed. I did think you were going to make that, I really did think you were going to make that strategy work, but by God you did. Nice job mate, nice job. Not too bad, not too bad. Take a P5 from where we started, given that we... Uh, Yeah, not bad. <laughs> a few, a f slightly few better results set on it towards the end of the stream, didn't we? <laughs> slightly better. Tonic with the P2. Nice job, mate, nice job. 
But we're going to wrap it up there, folks. That is, uh, that's going to be us. That's nearly four hours of racing, so that's not too bad. But we'll be back on tomorrow at some point as well. Hopefully around about one o'clock. Do some daily racing. Have a couple of goes at the uh, GTWS. So we will. Uh, so do join me for that if you can. Thank you to everyone that raced with me today as well. Always nice to race with some of you. Uh, and as ever in the chat, everybody was just immaculate. Immaculate. As always. Uh, thank you. I don't know how, really how to say your name. Jo Jody? I don't think that's the way to say your name. But uh, thank you very much for the like and the subscribe, Jory. And yeah, nice to race with you. And yeah, once again, GG on that strategy and the tyre saving. Superb stuff. Absolutely superb. Yeah, but yeah, as I said, I'm going to wrap it up there. I think Del Boy is coming on to stream. Or I think he's starting at 10 to 3. So, uh, if you're looking for some more Gran Turismo 7 action from Watkins Glen, do join Del Boy. Say hello. Most of you will be well aware of him. Another a fellow Scott as well. Uh, I'm going to get something to eat. I may jump on and do a couple of races later on with him as well. But yeah, go and check that out. And as I said, yeah, thank you very much just for your company today, folks. It was a up and down stream. We had some, some good racing. We had some, some numpties to all make the list there, I'm definitely going to do that I'm going to have a numpty list uh, but yeah I shall hopefully uh, see some of you tomorrow enjoy the rest of the day, enjoy the rest of the racing and good luck in GTWS if you're up to it see you there see you there folks